Hi Aquarius, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, and that's okay. But you can check out one of your other signs if that's the case, or one of your person's other signs, or you can get a personal reading. And if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. So yeah, please check it out before emailing me. And then if you have any questions, you can definitely email me with them. And I will be happy to respond. All right, so let's see, Aquarius, what is going on? What are the main energies? Mid-April. All right, we have a twin flame and we have observer. All right, so definitely a very strong connection here, divine soulmate connection, um, or if you identify with the twin flame label. If not, if you feel like this is a more casual situation that you're involved in, it might not be your reading. All right, so I feel like for the most part, this is a connection where there might not be much communication, or if there is communication, Somebody is still kind of observing the other person here um, from afar, the way it's coming through. Maybe spying on you a little bit, that kind of kind of a thing, or just really trying to observe and figure out this, this situation and just the whole dynamic of this connection. Let's see. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, mid-April 2021. All right, so for you, we have the Five of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so you're conflicted about something. Um, either you're conflicted about something or maybe you are in a disagreement, possibly with this person, possibly with others, but whatever that is, I feel like it's causing you a lot of stress, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, um, especially when it comes to maybe a new path that you're trying to take here. I don't know. We'll see when we clarify. For them, we have the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Hmm. There's definitely a lot of a lot of emotions here. This person definitely sees you as somebody that they could be fulfilled and happy with. I feel like there's a lot of emotions. But I feel like they're carrying a burden. They're carrying some kind of a burden or some kind of a responsibility, something that is wearing them out and possibly could be what is keeping them from from having this and possibly what is keeping you in that state of anxiety, at least for now. Let's see what's coming up. We have the Nine of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. And a message for you here is the Three of Cups. All right, okay, so it does look like things are moving in a pretty positive direction. Although, yeah, with a little bit of a struggle, there's some resistance um, showing up here. I do see though that that love is still there, that bond is st definitely still there, and I do see some emotions um, coming up to the surface. And then the final message here being, being the Three of Cups, that's a reconciliation um, or a coming together. So I do feel like that with that being the message that that's definitely something that is in the potential or where this is headed but it just feels like there's a few challenges along the way. Um, let's see. I do feel like if you haven't been communicating, there could be some communication coming up here with that Page of Cups. All right, let's see. Let's see the Five of Wands. All 
All right, the Nine of Swords again, the Four of Wands, and the Three of Cups again. All right, I feel like you're just really stressing and really conflicted when it comes to whether this will, whether this will work out, basically. Um, I feel like there has been some kind of a, I, I feel that for the most of you, you were together, all right? There was some kind of a, um, a union, a togetherness, and it did feel pretty strong, all right? Um, and something may have happened. Um, there may have been a disagreement. There may have been something where you, maybe you feel like you messed something up. It's almost coming in like that. Or you feel like you just didn't agree on something and it's, I feel like it's just really on your mind. Um, whatever that last contact was or whatever that last phase of contact was for you. Um, I feel like there was this sense of, of unity or union when you were together. But there was some kind of a conflict between the two of you here that kind of threw you in that Nine of Swords. Let's see. Nine of Swords. Alright, the Hermit. The Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Alright, so yeah, there, I feel like there's a lot of overanalyzing here. With the Hermit showing up, I feel like you've just pretty much withdrawn um, to your own self because you're just having so many thoughts and just maybe even replaying um, certain scenes in your mind um, from things that from things that happened. And I feel like because of that, you might be, you might feel like you're losing your groundedness here. Um, definitely, de definitely a lot of emotions. It almost feels like, you know, you have a lot that you wanna say, you have a lot that you would want to express, but you can't. For whatever reason. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles. Alright, the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. I feel like there is another um, there is a solution here. There's another opportunity here for you. I don't know what that is, but I feel like there's something showing up. Not necessarily a person, although it could be, but I feel like there's something showing up in your life that could actually um, help you to move out of that energy. And I feel like it's it's either um, coming in or it, it's there. It's there already. But I feel like you're still kind of holding... It's like you're holding back from that because you're like in this hermit mode. And I feel it's really just a matter... A lot of this might be a matter of perception. That could be even what this, this other opportunity is for some of you. Just the way that you are viewing this, um, which might be what is keeping you kind of feeling stuck. And for others of you, I feel like it, it's something else. And I feel like you're just... You're not seeing it or you're choosing not to see it. But whatever that is, um, I feel like if you acknowledge it, if you can just, you know, open up a little bit to it, it might be something that can actually work in your favor. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see that Ten of Wands. Alright, the World, the King of Swords, and Temperance. 
All right, so there's something here that, that this person, um, I feel is trying to make a decision on. And whatever that decision is, I feel like it has to do with a completion about something in their lives which they're still carrying. It's a burden that they're carrying that needs some determination in order to be completed. And it could be anything, it could be work, it could be a way of thinking. Um, whatever the case is, I feel like it's been a bit of a struggle them trying to find that balance um, within themselves that would require um, that would be required in order for them to make this decision or to take some kind of an action. I feel like it's something that would need um, a lot of a lot of determination. A lot of determination and it's like this person has been dealing with this for quite some time and so it's built up it's built up it's built up um, and so now because it's gotten so heavy like it's like the heavier that this load gets the harder it is to actually um, release it Let's see the ten of cups Six of Wands and the Page of Wands. Yeah, so there's love here. Um, there's love here and they, and they do want this. That's the thing. They do want to be able to conquer that. They do want to be happy. They want to be able to make some kind of a move. I feel like there's some enthusiasm attached to thinking about this, this potential with you. Um, but there could be some pride here also that's getting in the way in some way or ego and that could be just about anything and it could manifest in just about any kind of a way. Let me see the Queen of Cups. Alright, the Ten of Wands, the Tower, Ooh, and the Wheel of Fortune. Alright, there is a change that's coming up or that they're dealing with. I, I see it, this more as progressive. Um, Carrying that burden, like I said, that responsibility here, wanting to make a decision about it or, you know, wanting to find that determination for their own happiness. And it's like that move, I mean, having the Ten of Wands showing up again, but this time with the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune, it's what I'm saying. Like, the more this builds up, yeah, the more difficult it is to release it, but the worse it makes their life. Um... It could be another relationship for some of you. It doesn't have to be. It. What I'm getting mostly though is that it has to do with you. It has to do with their emotions for you. I feel like those two, they're building up. They're building up, building up, building up. And it's just, it's just weighing heavier and heavier and heavier on them. And that's just going to eventually blow up. <laughs> like it's just, it's like it gets so heavy that it just collapses. And I feel like that's what's happening here. And then that, that tower, that collapse is going to bring that shift. It's, it's like in divine intervention in order for this burden to be released, whatever that is. And it could be something as small as just them not communicating and that build, building up. All right. And it could be something as big as um, having to change careers, having to move countries, having to divorce. It could be anything. Small or big? All right, let's let's see what's coming up here. Then, because this is showing up in their in the current energy, so I feel like this is something very very close. All right, um, all right. So for the nine of wands, we have the queen of wands. So this, there's a struggle here. I mostly feel like this is you. I feel like this struggle that you're going through, you're you're coming out of that. You're going to be able to find your sense of um, your confidence within yourself, the passion that you have for life within yourself, and to begin manifesting things for your own self, um, being more self-assured, feeling good about yourself. All right, but I feel like that is requiring a little bit of effort like there is some struggle there for you when it comes to that 
but I do see you stepping into that energy. Um, it's just, you know, it's a matter of persistence, like really persisting and pushing through this difficult um, phase that you might be going through. Yeah, let me see a page of cups. Alright, we have the Eight of Cups, the Unknown card, and the Five of Cups. Alright. Who is this? I feel like it's you. Um, I feel like it, because you have the Page of Cups up here and it's showing here. So I feel like this is you again, you know, like I said, you know, there's a bit of a struggle, but you are able to start manifesting things into your life and I feel like yeah you know you might have these emotions you might um you might even have communication with this person but basically what I feel like you're doing is emotionally detaching you're emotionally detaching from the connection in a way where it's getting it's getting you out of that nine of swords and yeah you might not know where to go after that you know it might feel like all right well now what and that is what might bring you a little bit of grief, a little bit of sadness, you know, thinking still about the past. But what I'm seeing here is that, yeah, but you know, you, you can do that, all right? It's okay to allow yourself to feel what you feel. It's okay for you to not know what is coming up next. But from what I see here, coming up next is this Ace of Cups, which is very, very beautiful. That's like one of the most positive cards in the deck. So let's see, Ace of Cups, because that's love. It's self-love, it's love in general, it's just beautiful. Let's see, the moon and the Ten of Cups. So that's, that's really beautiful. All right, yeah, we do have the moon because I feel like this is something that you don't see coming. You don't see that there's this love, this happiness that is available or it's in the um it's in the, it's on the horizon for you here but yeah it if it requires you to really push through and um work through whatever it is that's happening well you know that's that's what it requires but i feel like this is something that you don't even know is is here so we have the unknown card and then we have the moon so very interesting like just as i said because you don't know what's after that and then the moon. You don't know. You really don't know. It's this Ace of Cups and that Ten of Cups. All right. And then it's just being reinforced here by the final message for you, which is that Three of Cups. All right. It's a union of some sort. It's a reconciliation. All right. So that is definitely something that is possible. All right. Let's see. The Hanged Man. And the Ten of Pentacles. So, all right, you know, this this coming back together or this reconciliation or whatever this is, or at least this is being happy. I see it as being a um, some sort of a commitment, so I do feel like it is with this person. It's just something that might take a little bit of time, all right? That's why we have the Hanged Man here. And the Hanged Man also does talk about seeing things from a different perspective, which is what I was saying up here about you. So that could also be related here as well. But I feel like it's just the overall message from the universe here for you that yes, this Three of Cups is meant to be here for you. All right, it just, and it's gonna come with that Ten of Pentacles with commitment, it's like a completion. It just takes a little bit of time. All right, but it's definitely, it's definitely coming. All right, so Aquarius. And yeah, you know, I mean, this if this is a divine soulmate twin flame connection, it's not going to be easy. It's just not easy. Right. So, final oracle message for you, if this resonated. All right, and we have healing family issues. And on the bottom it says, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so that could be a special message for some of you. Um, you don't have to take it so literally. Okay, there's a lot of healing that is happening even between the two of you. Okay, because if this is a divine soulmate connection, in a sense, you are family, your soul family. 
All right, so this connection is in the process of healing, but definitely take this message in any way that you feel is meant for you. All right, Aquarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.